So one of the things we're going to do, get really, really tight and shorten, are these hip flexors. So I'm going to get some, uh, some resistance through the band to help me open up that hip, right? We know this kneeling lunge position, uh, we do it more passively for the most part. But here this is really going to get me to actively open this and engage. And here, I keep that belly tight. My goal, if anything, is to keep this hip open. There. And I just want to stay in there as best as possible. I want to seek and destroy, as I call it. I just want to look for some hot spots, some areas that, uh, that are really, really tight. And I just want to stay there and really open up. One of the other things I've been experimenting lately is how to get that rectus femoris, right? This is big, uh, long hip flexor muscle attaches. Uh, the two, is a two joint, right? Uh, comes across the uh, knee and hip. But one of the things I really want to do to open that up, or try to do, is try to get my heel to my butt. One of the ways I can do that is come with the free arm, the opposite arm, and stick that heel open in here. Get a little bit more resistance. And I can do that dynamically. I can set, 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 hold. Come back out. Again, uh, open, 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 open. Uh, come back out. I can work through this. Uh, and hold that. One more time. Uh, and what you'll see, right, to test and retest this, go into that squat again. And notice how much I can open up, right, this. This right knee versus this left knee and that's all because of that that mobility work that I did. Go ahead, try that. Three, two, one, go.